You are about to see something I'm betting you've never seen before. It's just a turtle, right? Still going. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> it's like this spiny soft shell has superpowers of the stretchable neck. This is oh, the, wow. one of the Fantastic Five. That is a, a long reach. I have never seen there. anything like that before. You know, it's cool things like that you'll find at the Delmarva Discovery Museum in Pocomoke, and we'd like to welcome the museum's education and animal curator, September Marr. September, thank you so much. You are not alone. Who do you got there with you? <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, I have Piggy, our corn snake. He's now a bino corn snake that was actually born here at the museum about 10 years ago. And then behind me, of course, I have the famous Mac and Tuck who oh, are swimming yeah. around their morning exercise. Oh. So tell us about the, the spiny soft shell that, that we just watched. She's different than most turtles, considering that she has a soft shell. So it's a really rubbery soft shell. Um, so in Maryland, she is considered up for like conservation because she's so rare, but they are abundant in um, other areas of the US. And they're really funny and she really only comes out whenever we feed her and she brings out her little snorkel <laughs> and then comes up to the top and she's really fun to watch. Definitely fun to watch. Also fun to watch Mac and Tuck. But yeah, so these guys are doing really well. So they had their annual checkup. So they've got a clean bill of health. We've been doing a lot of different enrichment with them. And we're actually getting ready to do a snow day for them. So we're going to get a bunch of ice. And I actually got a snow machine. And we're going to let them have a snow day since we all got to have one. <laughs> so I'll be sure to post on Facebook whenever we're going to have that. But it's definitely going to be a weekend coming up in January. Huh. So you do live animal programs. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, so um, every Thursday through Sunday, we always have a live animal program. We always do at least the otter enrichment program, um, but we do usually always like to do at least like one of each a week. And we especially love now to do our touch pool program um, because we're starting to add a lot of new creatures into our touch pool. Um, we actually just got in some brittle starfish. So we're trying to do a whole thing with that. And we are currently in the process of raising funds um, to open up a jellyfish exhibit. So we hope to add to our whole live animal program with the jellyfish once we can get that up and running as well. Oh, wow. You know, every time we come down there and we talk to you, we talk about the different animals you have there, but there really is so much more than the animals, aren't there? Yes, definitely. And um, on that point, we actually do have Delmarva Heritage Days coming up. It's going to be on March 26th and 27th. And it's for local and national blue ribbon um, wood decoy carvers. And we have a bunch of activities for kids, adults, um, everybody in the region. We set up a whole bunch of stuff outside and inside. It's a really, really fun time. So yeah, so our museum is a lot more than just animals. We also go with the heritage of Delmarva and the history as well. There's definitely something for everybody. So it's winter, does that change the things you do and how you do them? So really only the things that have changed in the winter are our hours. So the only reason we changed our hours from Thursday to Sunday is because we're actually offering Tuesdays and Wednesdays as private field trip and private tour days. Okay. So with the um, COVID numbers and everything being still a scare right now, um, we want to make sure that all the students in the area are safe if they want to come visit our facility. So we made it so that we're close to the public on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so that we can actually host um, private field trips so that the teachers can bring their students and feel safe that there's not a bunch of people from the public in here for that. And we're also holding those days for um, private group tours and homeschool groups as well. I think that the Delmarva Discovery Museum is a Delmarva treasure, is something that I think everybody needs to see. I know you agree. So why do you think that is? So honestly, I think it really is. Um, we're unique in the way that we're focused solely on Delmarva when it comes to the animals that we have, so the biodiversity and the things that we're showing. So I think it really is a treasure in the sense that like a lot of times we tend to be one of the first field trips for a lot of like preschool age students in the area. And I think it's their first glimpse into maybe being prideful of the region that they're living in and that they're from. Um, and then also in the summertime when we have all the tourists and everything visiting the area, it's really awesome that they get to come here and kind of see way more about Delmarva than just like you know, Shingatig or Ocean City, which we love, but they get to delve more into the history of what made Delmarva what it is today and how the people have shaped the land and the land have shaped the people. Um, so I think it's really good in that sense. I think it's a really awesome place for community engagement. 
Um, we're always partnering with like local entities, like the Worcester County Library System, school systems, Maryland Coastal Bays. Like I think it's a really good pillar of community involvement for us all to kind of like have a place to get involved and be prideful of our heritage of Del Marva. So, so one last question: uh, Do Mac and Tuck know when the camera's on? <laughs> <laughs> they do. They are very, very. They love the camera. <laughs> they know when there's visitors, even if they're taking a nap and they hear people come in. They usually wake up unless it's like a super snooze time. But yes, yeah, they know. <laughs> I have to say, if you haven't seen Mac and Tuck in person, you are missing out. So head down there whenever possible. Thank you so much, September, for joining us on Del Marva Life. And thank we uh, hope to see you in person soon. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs>